So recently, Ubisoft have provided us with a lot of information about the audiobook Assassin's Creed Gold. It was announced about 2 or 3 months ago, but we knew practically nothing about it then, whereas now we know a fair bit. So today, I'm going to be discussing everything we know about Assassin's Creed Gold, from various synopses as well as cast interviews. For one, if you want to pick up the audiobook for yourself, then you can on February 27th on Audible, and it's exclusive to Audible, so it seems like you can't really get it from anywhere else. For the time being, at the very least. The main thing I'm going to be discussing in this video though is the long synopsis that released for the audiobook. Gold was described as a standalone story from the perspective of Alia Khan, played by Tamara Lawrence, and she's been in some pretty big theatre projects, including one called Unreachable, as well as a few projects on the BBC, such as The Split. What we know about Alia is that she's a card shark and a street scammer with a rough childhood who quote unquote loses big time to Gavin Banks. If you don't know who Gavin Banks is, he's an important assassin who led the Brotherhood for a short time in 2015, at the request of William Miles. What losing big time actually means remains to be seen though. It seems like Banks is basically a mentor to Alia, who's going to become an assassin and needs her help to decode a message from the Great Recoinage of 1696. The Great Recoinage was basically a huge event for England that basically threw the economy through a loop, as the value of silver shot through the roof, meaning that people would clip the coins and basically a large amount of the silver coinage went out of circulation. A lot of fake money basically started to be used and England tried to counteract this with the recoinage. I mention all of this because the synopsis mentions that this story is going to draw a lot of parallels to the current western economy, which is going to be interesting for sure because the writer of this, Anthony Dalcol, seems to weave politics into a lot of his other stories such as Son of Hitler, Kill Shakespeare and a Luke Cage story he did called Everyman. I've not read any of Dal Cole's work in the past, so I have no idea how good of a writer he is, but he has written for Assassin's Creed before with a book called Trial by Fire, which he co-wrote. Another thing which we know is the cast of the book, which is quite notable. Of course, Tamara Lawrence I mentioned before, but also people like Gemma Lawrence from Misfits and Luther. But I have to say, out of everyone in the cast, I'm most excited for Riz Ahmed, Anthony Head and Danny Wallace. Riz Ahmed was great in things like Nightcrawler and Four Lions, and you might also recognise him from things like Rogue One and Venom. Anthony Head also did a great job in Doctor Who as the main Skrillane in the School Reunion episode, but Danny Wallace is probably the most recognisable of the cast amongst Assassin's Creed fans especially, who's going to be reprising his role as Sean in the game. We do know the Monday story of Gold is set in 2018, so this will be the first time we've seen Sean again in canon since the events of Syndicate. Amar Azazar's handling of important information in transmedia has always been quite controversial, the most notable case of this being revealing Desmond's son in the comics, and to be honest I was one of those people against that, so I hope that Sean's role in the book doesn't have too much of an impact on the overall story, and he can hopefully get back to having some importance in the games for the first time in years. Anyway, this is all besides the point, this was just a video telling you everything that we know about Assassin's Creed Gold as of today, and I think this is all we're going to get considering the book releases in just over two weeks. Anyway, if you want to have a look over all this for yourself, I'll link the synopsis and cast interview below. For now, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.